good afternoon guys it's two o'clock in the afternoon and I have tried to find a way to the Czech Republic but the problem is it, there was a, a wood fire there and the road is closed so I am at the moment around here Lomen here so on the close uh, the shortest route is 172 uh, I want to go to yeah Kamenice so that's the border to the Czech Republic here and here is a canyon where you can walk and go by boat should be very cool there that's what I want to see and then we travel down south and direction park where is park? Uh, there from here down there and what I did today is trying to find this parking spot in park uh, it's not so far away from the city center I have these three places here marked the green dots and one is over here so the city center is around here hmm there's all the all three to four kilometers away because the main parking uh, spots here around here are all uh, ticket parking during the day and you have to pay on a machine Hmm. So, and this is my used laptop from HP with the Ryzen 5 processor. Uh, I'm happy with it, and it's working great with my uh, AC DC converter. No, it's DC AC <laughs> converter. At the moment, it is nearly 31 degrees in the car, and I'm sweating again. Hmm overcast weather today but there should be rain coming in the afternoon or so maybe two to three hours it should rain so tomorrow will be, will be cooler about 25 degrees so I will travel tomorrow I think and today I'll spend the rest of the day uh, making videos again uh, I had it not on traffic so as you can see the road is still closed here and every other road around there and there uh, closed. Yeah. And the way around it is very far. So I guess they might be also closed here. So I'm not sure. Maybe because the the food fire was here and in this area here. So more on the check side of the National Park. I have a guest in front of my door here. Do you want some water? As you might be wondering, is he eating a pizza all day long? No, no, no. I'm making cereals sometimes with uh, raisins and cornflakes, milk, of course. So, uh, yeah, that's also great. And honey, forgot the honey. I was just updating my Google search for the road closure to uh, Czech Republic. And it says, yes, the street, uh, the B172 is free again, so I can go, okay. And I clicked on the uh, article here. But then it says, oh no, most of the important uh, uh, tourist uh, destinations are closed. No. Oh. Prebisch Tor and the Edmundsklamm. Well, th I want to go to the Edmundsklamm. That's uh, the, the canyon. Oh man. 
Oh no. Uh, so I have to cancel that and then off to Prague. Making the videos for you is not only time consuming for me because I need about two to three hours for a video, uh, but it's also cost intense. Um, here you see all the 10 videos I have made before and uh, they are 8.5 gigabyte of data that I have to upload to YouTube so that's quite a lot of money yes and this was only the first week of videos and I hope that um, in the other countries outside of Germany the internet will be a little bit cheaper there but I don't know if I can buy SIM cards so I had bought another SIM card for me here to um, be a reachable by phone because I have to put one SIM card into my router and now I have another one in my smartphone again. Yeah, so I was lucky to buy a, a starter kit uh, um, that comes with a discount and then uh, at a discounted um, uh, volume for internet traffic. But this is all used up nearly, <laughs> so I have to buy again. Yesterday's weather forecast was not very good. It says it will be sunny today. But now, look at that drizzle. A wonderful good morning. Scooby and I are prepared for the big event that is coming. We will try to reach the Czech Republic today. But first, uh, I will uh, go to Kaufland again to get uh, fill up my food uh, supplies and the water and then we will try to make about 55 kilometers into the Czech Republic and then uh, look for a nice place this evening this is what I've bought uh, two breads because uh, in Czech Republic bread is a little bit more expensive and then bananas, cheese, milk uh, I don't know this word here uh, jalapenos again, eggs and baking paper and uh, a box here I will show you the usage later and what's it called here? Quark uh, hmm. so this all together was in total 17 euros and 50 the most expensive item from here was this box for 4 euro 50 it's already noon and now I'm starting my breakfast and I can choose if I want to have it on this pull-out table here at the big one where I have cut the corner here or do I use my turnable table also cut here and there now it fits uh, when the door is closed it fits good here so I can move between here to the front seat Yeah, so cheese and salami uh, and marmalade and bread. That's my breakfast for today. Den Straßenverlauf von Route 248 noch drei Kilometer folgen. This is the second country that Scooby has achieved. Yeah. After Denmark, now the Czech Republic. Really good. Well done, Scooby. Off to many other countries. The 
border street is filled with souvenir shops here. <laughs> Oh, an airplane. What is this? <laughs> restaurant? Air restaurant. Very cool. Consum market. Many more shops here. They all have good houses or something. Do Germans need so many birdhouses? There's an hour, first steep hill here. I have asked uh, local women here for uh, spring water. So here's a uh, spring water and I have filled up my tank here, 10 liter tank. Now I want to fill it into my big water tank and I have two funnels with me. This one is too big on the bottom and the other one is down there and I've tried to get it out but I managed to pack it like shit because I can't reach it from the other side. I have to pull out this all stuff here so I can uh, get it out. Oh. After several minutes I have managed to get the funnel out and now I can start filling the water tank. But the problem is it is not a really good parking spot here because it's a really narrow road in the corner. So I'm just on the edge here and only small road here. Hmm. So that's why I want to, to be in a hurry, but uh, yeah, then the problem occurs that the funnel is stuck. Oh, damn it! The day had begun so good, but now I'm sweating like a pig again. Oh, it took me mere, nearly 20 minutes to fill up the tank. Uh, the funnel thing was not really working, but it took so long and I had to hold a big heavy 10 liter bucket to fill it in. So I've decided to pull up the bed, uh, but the first I tried it from this side here that was not working so I had to uh, open up the bed from the other side and it was hard to fill up uh, the tank I spilled a lot of water around. Uh, yeah, that was the first time I'm, I've tried to fill up the water without a, a hose. So I hope I will find a better spring uh, next time uh, where I can connect my hose which is a little bit higher than my tank because this uh, spring was too low so there was not much pressure to put it into my tank or uh, I would need a water pump. Um, yeah, whew, now I'm sweating. Uh, let's drive, uh, go on. Uh, it is not far away, 6.6 .6 kilometers to my destination. All right, let's go. After some search in this uh, town here, 
I have found my destination, but the problem was the road was close to any motorized vehicles. So there was a the sign, yeah, I will show you in the video. And yeah, the next uh, stop is here at the cemetery. That's where I'm, I have parked now. That seems like a quiet spot, I will show you. Uh, but the problem is, since I have crossed the, uh, crossed the border, I have no internet anymore. It says roaming and yeah, you have uh, full signal strength, but uh, it is not working. So that, that's a huge problem. Hmm. And I have to ask to, uh, where I can buy a SIM card. And the lady says, oh, maybe not here, but maybe in the next big city. Hmm. Oh, well, well. I have not expected that it is so uh, hilly here in this area, uh, but it has a nice view. And this is the place, uh, parking lot of the cemetery, where I would like to stay. It's over there. I think. Means dog. <laughs> it says uh, Gilove. In German, on the map, it shows like Eulau. Totally different. It looks good over there. Just a short look on the cemetery. So many flowers on the graves. Wow. I would not have expected that. Really big. Mostly German names here on this side. Nineteen oh four, nineteen seventeen. Really, a lot of German uh, gravestones here. They say to here Ruhe den Frieden, and they have also the uh, profession on it. It says Bäckermeister. It is a baker, and then we have. Uh, the wife of the uh, chief main police inspector. Uh, that's a cool stone pile here. Looks good with its spikes. I have met a woman and she was speaking English and I've told her about my internet and then she suggested me to uh, Manuel, uh, look for another provider, yes, and that was his solution. Um, I had it on automatic selection and it was connected to here O2 Czech 2G um, and that was really too slow and I manually selected 4G and now internet is working again. Uh, okay, I'm so happy and there are two other providers here, even with why don't they where do they have two G's here? Who can use it? Hmm. Once again, I would not have expected that. It is so crowded here in this uh, cemetery that with the fourth car, four cars were here, and they all went there and put in uh, new flowers. So I think there will be more <laughs> visitors coming to bring flowers to the graves. Because, uh, as you have seen, lots of flowers on the graves. I'm trying to find the next ATM, which will not rip me off. Uh, there's one down the road there, about a 15 minutes walk. So let's go down to the main road and check it out. Here they have public recycling containers. The yellow one is for plastic, the blue one for paper, and then here we have glass bottles and I think clothing. 
I think they are not really recycling the plastic here. It is in the rest bin. Mm. Oh, beautiful house here. This one looks like a supermarket. And there's a O2 Zim sign on the door. Mm -hmm. There was a Vietnamese woman on the counter and uh, she only speaks Czech, but we have translated and then she so showed me some SIM cards and there was a O2 package. I think I have understood that I have to buy the SIM card for 150 Czechish crowns um, or crowns and then uh, there was a 15 gigabyte uh, data package for 300 uh, Czechish crowns and uh, that will be equivalent uh, to uh, 12 euros 300 is 12 euros so that's quite a good deal um, but I, as I found out that my internet is working again but uh, the data is nearly empty what I have and then uh, internet in Germany is really expensive so I'm not sure what to do I don't know if I can register the O2 card on my name hmm. uh, and then I wanted to take some uh, video shots in the shop but uh, <laughs> she also but she recognized the camera and says no 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 <laughs> What's going on here? Police chase! Wow, well, they have US sirens here. <laughs> So let's try the ATM. Cheska Spakasse. So uh, I want to tell you the story about the ATMs. The first one, I uh, wanted to cash out 2600 Czechish crowns, and that is an equivalent to 105 euros. Uh, so and then there was a surcharge of, of a bank uh, for the ATM machine of about four euros and then they uh, had a 15% uh, additional surcharge for the money translation <laughs> so and that's the uh, old total uh, was 125 euros so it was a 25 uh, euro fee that I should have paid but I've cancelled it so the second one was not really much better. It was 119 euros for the same amount. So, hmm. so I'm not really in, in, in the need of uh, money right now because I still can pay with Visa card. But I will try again in Prague. Um, and uh, my bank told me that there's only a uh, 2% uh, Visa card charge uh, of the amount that I will get from the ATM but here it is quite more for the money exchange and so on hmm I don't know why so now I'm climbing up the hill again to the cemetery Whew. Yeah, it's getting warmer here I was just making uh, bread for dinner, but uh, not only the uh, cemetery is really crowded today, now only uh, they collect in the trash here and <laughs> making really noises. But the drivers are friendly, they gave me a, they gave me a thumbs up for the car. <laughs> oh, I'm too late. It happened in my back. Uh, there was a paraglider uh, landing on the field over there, it's behind the tree now. But was it a parachute? I don't know. <laughs> I 
I'm just surfing the O2 check uh, website and uh, looking for the prizes. So there's a special um, that's uh, this one here. This was uh, the one that the lady showed me in the shop. Uh, 15 gigabyte for 300 uh, Czech crowns. But the problem is, this is only for Ukrainian people. So uh, they have a special. Uh, yeah. So, and this one are the normal tariffs. Um, so, one gigabyte for 180 or three gigabyte of data with for 300. So, that's uh, not so cheap anymore. 300 was 12 euros. And uh, in Germany, I can buy um, eight gigabyte for 15 euros. So, it's cheaper to buy the internet in Germany. In I had high hopes for a nice uh, sunset, hmm. but it's cloudy. Look at the huge uh, cloud that is hanging on the mountain range here. I have made a drink. It is uh, Pepsi Cola and rum to celebrate uh, the first border crossing for Scooby. Now we can celebrate the first border crossing in the correction southeast for Scooby. Cheers to you Scooby. Thank you very much. You're a very good companion. And thanks for driving me to everywhere I want to go. Very good. Thank you very much. Cheers. Oh. Mm, quite strong. And I'm missing the ice cubes that I have in my freezer at home. And here it is only cold, but not ice cold. Now we have siren alarm here. That was the second time. I know from Portugal. Hey. In Portugal, they have the fire brigade uh, and then several types of sirens. One is an accident, so I think two is a, um, a wood fire, three times. It's a major or a big accident or something. But what's, what was the announcement? Good night, Scooby.